new tire stagger dyno that I'm going to be demonstrating here. I'm going to show you a few of the parts that's involved on this new dyno. Uh, right here is a liquid filled gauge within one pound. This is two safety pop-off valves that will pop off at 30 PSI, which is the maximum pressure that this machine needs to be used at. And this is a quick relief valve that bleeds all the air out of the tire once you've checked it to uh, make it really fast. This is an adjustment sleeve that is marked in increments from 8 to 18 inches. You can put this on any size rim. This is the U-clamp that we use to hold the dish and the tire to the proper size. Here's the air foot control that also has a glow-in-the-dark air pressure gauge on it. Now, we have designed this so the tire can spin so you can measure it for real um, ease of uh, checking whatever you can do. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and inflate this good user tire. It's a 10 inch dirt tire. Mount it on the hub. Put the top dish on the shaft. Go ahead and we're going to put this at the at the 10 inch tire mark because that's what we're going to inflate it at. We're going to go ahead and hook up the air. Now I'm going to go ahead and push on the air and inflate it. You have to hold lightly down on the dish. It's already starting to hold air. Now you want to stand back a little bit while it's inflating just for safety purposes. We're going to go ahead and blow it up to about 12 pounds. Always keep your head and hands back from the machine. Now it's on 12 pounds. I'm going to use my stagger tape and measure it right in the middle. And this measures 91 and a quarter. Now we'll go ahead and use the quick release valve. You let all the air out of it. We'll pull the adjustment sleeve off. We'll pull the dish out. We'll take the tire off. That's as easy as it gets. The whole unit only weighs 32 pounds.